Malaysia has always taken the stance that we should not take advantage of anybody's uh, uh, um, uh, problems or in this case, the trade war. But somehow we've benefited from it because uh, Malaysia is right smack uh, in the center of Southeast Asia and Asia. And a lot of them have good uh, trade deals with us as well as business relationship with us, both sides, America and China. And um, the deal that they had signed recently uh, shows that they are making um, solutions towards the problems that they have faced and which have affected all of us. Mm. And, and we're glad that they did. Yes. But, you know, looking at your numbers a bit more, mm. I see that Malaysia's palm oil exports mm. to China jumped around 34% mm -hmm. in 2019. And China obviously will be buying now more oil products from the U.S., but they're also going to be buying more soy and potentially okay. soybean oil as well. Mm. How do you factor that into your um, you know, trade prognosis of, of your exports this year? <laughs> China and um, uh, Malaysia has a long uh, relationship. And when things were tough for them, we were there, and things uh, were tough for us, they were there. And we've continuously had engagements with the Chinese, and, and hence they've increased their uh, order and export, uh, importation of palm oil. And uh, the recent meeting between our Prime Minister and President Xi Jinping uh, reaffirmed this. And we know very well that it will not affect us because they are, they are consumers that have preferences to palm oil. Now, one of the uh, other big deals that's going to be announced this year, obviously, is the Regional Comprehensive Economic yes. Partnership, uh, which also includes China. Do you feel like there's less urgency to get this deal done now that you know U.S. and China have somewhat sorted their issues for the time being? No, not really. I don't see that. Rather, RCEP, or the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, uh, is on track. Um, Malaysia, uh, being one of the long-term proponents of the RCEP uh, is, very, is very optimistic that we should have uh, some conclusion on when to sign by at least June or uh, just after June this year. I want to switch to a regional political question, actually, okay. and that is the fact that India are not going to be <coughs> part of our, the RCEP. Okay. And uh, if you look at the relationships between the two, between mm -hmm. Malaysia and India mm -hmm. over the last six months, really mm -hmm. has taken a turn for the worse, particularly after the comments your Prime Minister made at the UN with regards to Kashmir. Um, do you worry about the state of the relationship with India? Because obviously they are also a very important economic partner. Of course, of course. Um, as for India not being in the RCEP, it, it's still very fluid because although they've said what they have to say, but there are still ongoing uh, discussions between the two uh, where they are, um, how, do you, how do you say that, uh, affirming some matters and seeing whether or not they can proceed. And I think it, we, we must still be positive about that. As for Malaysia and, and, and India, the relationship is already uh, at a very mature stage. Mm. And whatever comments that my Prime Minister have said, he had said based on what um, his stance are. And, and just as many in India have also uh, said the same to Malaysia. Uh, so really, we will always work out uh, things between ourselves. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.